is it, Jack? Just the largest airplane in the world, that's all. Yes, it is the largest airplane in the world. The United States Air Force C-5 Galaxy. Can yeah, dispatch this Fred 2-2. Uh, record number 86 is now in the bag. We achieved an altitude of 37,300 approximately. Combining the Super Galaxy record set back in 2009 at Dover Air Force Base. The cumulative total is estimated at 89 of records for DOD's largest airlifter. Garnering the distinction of the most world records in all of aviation. The challenge we were recently a part of was setting the world records for the uh, C-5, culminating in uh, 89 world records. In order for a mission to succeed, like this one, it takes a lot of work from all of the entities here at Travis that we used, uh, like aerial port maintenance, and everybody coming together, because everybody has a big role throughout that. So for the roles of aerial port maintenance and ops and the air crew, it's, it's just one big team working together to get this mission off the ground. So the aerial port brings out the cargo, maintenance of course, is ensures that the, ready, the jet is ready to go and it's ready to operate when we get out to the airplane. Uh, operations is, you know, like what we have in the squadron, making sure the orders are done right and everybody's currency is good to go and then the air crew to go out there and uh, execute the mission. People are really just you know, working as hard as they possibly can to make sure everything's checked, double checked, triple checked, coordinated, um, and throughout preparation to the site to be seen. We do missions like this day in and day out where we are transporting um, tons of cargo uh, all throughout the world and to be able to show the civilian population and the community in general that we can do this um, validates our mission and the necessity for us. Example would be a few of our crews got mobilized uh, within 24 hours um, when the tsunami hit Japan and we were coordinated with active duty and the ability for us to all come together, jump in airplanes and go do uh, relief missions literally and at a moment's notice um, is very important. I think the C-5 has always been known as a heavy lifter. Uh, we carry space container modified missions, so satellite and outsized cargo, carrying heavy helicopters. Um, we've always been known for doing that and I think the C-5M coming around in the last few years has really solidified us as that heavy lifter to the warfighter anytime a lot of cargo needs to be moved. C5M Super Galaxy can be counted on to move it. Uh, it was a, a great feeling setting that final record, um, and not only for the crew, but, but thinking back as to all the hard work that the base put in and uh, achieving it as, as we wanted to and uh, even better times than we expected was a great feeling. It's kind of like you set the record, you know you've gotten to an altitude, and we knew that we had done very well compared to our, um, what we practiced in the simulator. So once we hit that mark, we knew that things were going well, and then we had to continue to get to the, the top altitude. So we got to the top altitude, and then, hey, you know, it's not over yet. We got to come down safely, land. You know, there's kind of more of the problem. The flight's not over until, you know, the airplane's parked, basically. So. Uh, we didn't have a chance to celebrate too much in the air, but once we got down, you know, we were like, all right, this, this, this happened, and this was, uh, and we were able to celebrate once we got on the ground. How's that short little barrier look? Seems fine to me. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks guess. good. I can see it over here. Stop left. Stop. Alrighty. Need to shut down checklist. Shut down checklist, brake switch, emergency. Parking brake. Set. Scan code to plane. Partner plane. 